What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today, I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where this guy is coming from, but let's uh, open her up and make sure and see what we have here. So, yes, this is right. So, what we have, guys, is another concept wrapped nicely in some cellophane here let's cut this guy open concept has some great packaging some unique packaging as well uh not many companies do this kind of two stage tier box like this this slider box and then you get a nice little unpackaging experience. You get the uh, concept card, you get a cleaning cloth and all that sort of thing in this envelope here. Then they make sure you're good with a silica packet and then you get this nice little fold over sleeve here. I like concepts packaging. Uh, they do a good job. So let's see what we have. Uh, it's different than a zipper case is kind you know, that's what I'm saying. The zippered cases are cool, but uh, something different, something that's useful still, but it's different. So let's see what we have here, guys. And Concept got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at their new offerings on the Cryo. And I said, yeah, that's awesome because... We just gave one of these away uh, about less than a month ago. We just gave away a concept cryo. So I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and, you know, they're revamping this up. They're doing it in some different materials. As far as the handle, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, they did change the steel. The steel used to be D2. Uh, but now I believe it's 12C28N. Let's see. Yes, that's right. So Cryo 3.6, Kim Ning, 12C28N, which 12C28N I'm not <clears throat> real familiar with. Uh, it must fall between 12C27 and 14C28N, I'm guessing. Uh, Probably very close uh, to 14C28N. I can only assume that, though. It's not a steel I'm real uh, studied up on. Uh, but one thing I do know is those Sandvik steels like 14C28N, 12C27 are fantastic steels. So if this kind of falls in between one of those two uh, or is right up there with one of them two, uh, which I'm assuming it is, it's going to be a fine, fine steel, a very tough steel, uh, a very corrosion resistant steel, and then going to be able to take a good edge and be able to, to, to do that very easily. That's what 14C is known for, its toughness, its corrosion resistance, and then its ability to have an edge that's nice and toothy put back on it very easily. And that's important uh, when we're talking about, you know, maybe picking up pocket knife that you're solely going to carry or a knife that you plan on, you know, and intend on using often. You want to be able to touch that guy back up easily. Uh, so that's where steels like that come in perfect, in my opinion. So let's take some close-ups of this guy here. We have blue micarta, looks very nice, satin hardware. We have a stone wash blade, nice swedge going to the tip, nice cut out there. Flipper tab is done very well. It has that little flare up, and then that cutout is going to be money on the reverse and thumb flick here. The detent is tuned nicely, guys. Uh, I've had not a ton of concepts in, but uh, quite a few. And they always seem to be very well done. And from what I've heard and seen, they are even better than they were before. And that's just a testament to the refinements that they are going through. Uh, everything that I've had in from Concept and everything I've heard 
is directing towards they're doing a good job and they're even going up uh, on the scale of quality. Lots of people are going with concept for OEM type work. So that is a good thing. And their OEM work is some top notch stuff. So we have a nice deep carry clip here. You're going to have just a tiny, tiny little bit peeking out there of the pocket. Uh, good retention on that guy. Nice standard rollover clip. And I, I like this a little bit more than some of the other ones that have like cutouts in them. Uh, I like this more solid look. And then you have just the access to the screws there. Not going to be lefty uh, carryable. Not going to be able to switch that around. But uh, this is going to fall in Concept's more affordable line of knives. Uh, you know, well under a hundred bucks. I can't remember off the top of my head what the price was. I did take a quick look, you know, at these just to see, you know, what the differences were and that sort of thing. But, uh, I don't remember the price. We'll know a little bit more about that in the overview of the knife, which we'll do here very soon where we'll dive into specs, have some more information on the knife itself and the design. But uh, I've had a couple of cryos now at this point and it's a fine, fine knife. Uh, if you like dual deployments, you like a nice drop point blade, going to be very useful. Some jimping on this slight ramp here just locks you in there behind that flipper tab. Just a nice, solid, full grip there. No question about it. Nice and comfortable. Let's yank up on that and see. Uh, it feels good. It feels good. I don't have any... You have the normal pressure that you would get in here, but that's every knife, so that's nothing. But... Uh, that feels very good. Very good. Everything's nice and softened. Uh, the tighter, of course, that you really dig in, you're going to feel, you know, the edge maybe of the pocket clip there. But I can squeeze the piss out of this and it is and yank up on it at the same time. And it's it's good to go. So that way, you know, that's how you can really judge ergos. You can tell you know, a little bit by just grabbing it and changing some various grips. But when someone just kind of grabs it and says, you know, and I've, I'm a culprit of this too. I should have been doing it better all along. But the real measure of ergonomics is grab the handle. How's it feel? Is it comfortable? Okay. If it's comfortable there, let's move to the next step. And when you're cutting stuff, you're going to have resistance and pull up into that blade. So give it a good squeeze and pull up into that blade. And then do you feel hot spots or any issues or any places where it's uncomfortable, whether it be the spine, the pocket clip, something here that's sharp and jaggedy, whatever it is, you're going to find it out when you squeeze it and pull up on it. You'll feel it. And that's a good... Uh, kind of test to see if the ergos are actually that good. Because uh, you can only tell a little bit in just a casual grip, even squeezing it a little bit. Squeezing it here is completely different than squeezing it here and pulling back on it. Uh, you, just try it. You'll you'll feel a drastic difference. People who you know really use their stuff, they're going to already know this. But if you're just getting into it, uh, getting into knives and that sort of thing. That's a great way to test ergos and really decide for yourself if that is actually comfortable or not. Uh, and in the case of the cryo, I've already checked it before on different versions and the micarta is going to be nice and soft. I prefer this 10 out of 10 times over G10. No question about it. We have internal milling there for weight relief. We have good access, great access with a nice big chamfer on the liner there. Drop to your thumb, one or two shakes, and she's going home. Nice clean action, nice tight tolerances. Let's go ahead and see what kind of edge they put on this guy. So we have some ultra 
fine phone book paper here. Wow. Good job. Nice. This has a nice edge on it. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Great job on the edge. That's not, you know, that that's not all telling, but it's a good way to see, you know, if it's dull or if it's somewhat sharp. You know, that's not going to be the be all end all. Does it have a little bite into the fingertips? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. I mean, of course, a production knife like this could be sharper, but uh, all intents and purposes, this thing is nice and sharp. So we've been flicking this thing around. I forgot to check that. Uh, are we centered? We're slightly off to the show side, but that could be from flicking it here. I'm sure that is probably what it is. We'll uh, dive into that a little bit more. It's slightly off. It's not, not real crazy. It could be over just a smidge. I bet it's just a matter of turning the pivot there. Uh, and then lockup is sitting pretty good there, about 25%. We're going to see how that lock is holding up. She's solid, guys. There's no movement, no play. Nice. Good. Yes, that is what we want. And guys, like I've said in the past, I'm going to keep doing unboxings just like this. People want to see how the knife is carried, what it looks like. People want to see how it, it cuts. Is the lock holding up? Because that's what I would want to see when someone's unboxing something. Because there's times where I see a knife like this and I'm like, ooh, I like it. Oh, it's at a good price? I'm going to pick it up now. You know, so if I can give you the information, you know, of the functional aspects of the knife and then you can make an even better decision. You know, you might have said, wow, I like that knife a lot. And then I get to cutting and it cuts like shit or it carries like crap or the lock is failing. You know, then that might put a hesitation in, you know, your buying might be able to save you something. So, you know, that's why I like doing the unboxings like this. Then in the overviews, we can dive into even more stuff with the knife and how it's been doing. But based off first impressions of this guy and having other cryos before this, this is going to be a fantastic little user knife right here. Love the blade shape. Love the opening methods. I love the finish on the blade. Drop points are always just fantastic users. The micarta is nice. Just a, a great build all around. And I'm going to say these are between 60 and 80 bucks or something like that is what I'm going to guess. I know that's a large margin there, but they're going to be under a hundred and they're going to be relatively affordable. By the time you're seeing this, I'll have all of that stuff linked down below so you can head over and check them out. Uh, they got a couple different ones plus all the old ones, I believe. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I love hearing from you all. Let me know what you think of the cryo, what you think of concept. Like I said, I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you head out. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or you've been here before and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.